okay now we have written the function for fetching the rows from the database how to display the data inside the website we have done all the things we have created the function we have called the function whenever our document is getting loaded or whenever i click on the submit button whatever data i have inserted inside the database that should be displayed here now here we have written the entire code you can see i have called the function i have just created the function now here once i refresh this one you can see the data is been displayed to me okay whatever data i'm having inside the database that is being displayed to me but here the problem is this image is not displayed okay these images are not displayed and here i'm getting this error because most probably these images are not present inside my uploads folder okay whatever uploads folder we have created inside that we have to store the image so here we have written this one okay from the database we are just fetching all this document okay we have done previously this entire thing now once you refresh this all the data will be fetched from the database and that will be displayed to you and only the first four data will be displayed to you you can see only first four data is being displayed and here i am getting the count as nine but only first four data is displayed because we have already created the pagination we have given the starting and the ending limit for this one okay so only four data is been displayed for me now if you don't get okay whenever you are trying to refresh and if your data is not getting displayed you just have to change the file name you just change your file name and inside this change it here okay wherever you are having this file name you just change that one you will be getting the output okay now here i have just passed the user dot photo but my photos are stored inside this uploads folder so here i just have to write here uploads uploads slash this one i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see the images is being displayed okay but the images are very large we have to give some styling for the images okay let us check for this one okay this image is not displayed because maybe that image is not present inside the database or maybe i have just removed that one okay so that is the reason it is not getting displayed so let me just come here now here i'll be creating css folder inside this i'm just going to create style.css Now let me just come to index.php. Now here we are having this font awesome link and bootstrap CSS link. Below this I am just going to link CSS file. Link CSS file. Now here I am just going to write this style sheet. Let me just write here link. And inside this inside CSS folder I am having this style sheet. So I am just creating that one. Now inside style.css I will be selecting image all the images. And for this I am just going to give here width to be 100 pixel. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see the width has been reduced, and also I'm just going to give height so that you can see here I'm not having okay, it's not looking good. So for that, I'm just going to give height 100 pixel, and also I'm just going to give here object fit to be contain. Object fit contain so that my image will not be squeezed. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see I'm having this proper table, okay, with width and height I'm having. But here, if you see this image is not present, so let me just come here. Now here I'll just open this local host. From this I'm just going to remove this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see the four data is being displayed. Now here I'm just going to add new user. Let me add here uh, Rima. Rima I'm already having. Suresh. Suresh at gmail.com Mobile number I'm just going to add. And photo, I'm just going to select some random photo. Let me just select this butterfly. Open, submit. Now you can see here I'm having this butterfly, Suresh. Okay, once my document is loaded, this data is been fetched and only four data is been displayed. Now that cartoon image is not displayed because the data is displayed in descending order. Whatever I enter, that data will be displayed. Okay, so once we add this pagination, once I click on the second button, the second data, whatever it is having in the second page, that will be displayed. Again, the third data will be displayed. Okay, if you are having any issues while fetching the data, okay, while if you are not able to fetch the data from the database, the only solution is you just have to come here whatever folder you have created change the name of the folder come to script.js and inside this okay wherever you have passed this inside url just change that one okay whatever folder name you have given just give the folder name okay that is the only solution i found when i was doing this demo project i got the same error i was not having any error inside my code but i was not able to fetch the data from the database so i just changed the folder name and here i just gave the folder name and i was able to fetch the data you can just take the screenshot of this one and you can do the same thing okay you just have to change the folder name and your data will be fetched
okay and here we are just calling that function and here also we are calling get users function okay this is all about getting the count of the function okay we are just fetching the rows we are fetching all the data from the database and we are displaying the data inside the website now once we create the pagination we will be able to move from one page to another whatever we are having inside the database